Hey, what is up everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you here today. We are uh, taking a trip to the store real quick. So there's no better time to talk about the uh, Niners versus the Vikings coming up this week. This is going to be week seven of football. Um, I don't know. Can't take the Vikings lightly. We all know that Justin Jefferson is hurt. The Vikings are having kind of a rocky season. They, you know, before Justin Jefferson got hurt, there was talks about would they trade Kirk Cousins um, to a team like the Jets that needs a quarterback. Um, and uh, they're basically saying they're not going to punt on the year. They're not ready um, to bust everything up. They still think there's a chance for them to compete in their um, division and maybe even still be a playoff team. So we'll have to see what goes on from there. Um, Niners are a good team. Niners lost to a, a bad team in, in the um, the Browns. The Browns got a pretty good defense. You know, they, they did not have their starting quarterback. They didn't really have a great offensive day. I think you give the, the, the MVP to the defense there. But um, we got to move on. And uh, Fred Warner basically said the best quote about it, basically saying that there was a lot to learn. Uh, the Niners, you know, might not have played to their potential. Uh, and to, to, to be the football team that everybody thinks that they are, they're going to have to go out there and, uh, and learn from it. And I think that's a really, really good way um, to put it. Um, can't take this team lightly because of the fact that, you know, they don't have Justin Jefferson. We don't really know what's going on. I didn't see an update today, but as um, Kyle Shanahan met with the press yesterday, um, the media, he said that Christian McCaffrey was going in for an MRI uh, on his rib area to find out how bad the injury is, if he's going to be out or what's going to be going down with that. Um, I, don't, I, I really don't know because I didn't I didn't see the update. Maybe maybe it's gonna be something that it's up to him to see that if he wants to play. In my opinion, honestly, we haven't really shown that you know Elijah Mitchell's ready to have the ball this year. He's kind of had his ups and downs, and when he's in the game, haven't really seen much. I, I would bet on the season he's under 50 yards rushing. Uh, McCaffrey's had an MVP season in my mind. Um, where he's been handling the ball a lot, but um, I don't know what that means um, uh, uh, for Elijah. It's just he just hasn't been there. And you know, before McCaffrey was there, he had no problem in this league running the football. Um, we've also got Debo Samuel. He's got a shoulder injury. Um, he's day to day as of right now. Um, Trent Williams, the best offensive linebacker. Uh, I'm sorry, offensive lineman. There probably is in football. Um, you know, his ankle injury, we don't really know what's going to be going down with him. It's probably going to be up to him whether if he wants to go. Last year, he played kind of hurt near the end of the year. And honestly, in my opinion, I thought he was getting a whole lot of penalties called on him because of the fact he was trying to play hurt. And um, I don't know. I, I, I just would hope that you know he can get better and, and just be at 100%, no matter what that is. Uh, the Niners... I'm not going to say we just need to go out there and throw a game or something like that, but you know, I think that it's much more important for us to be healthy uh, and go out there and get it. Uh, the Niners have a whole lot of speed positions all over the field. We've got Brandon Ayuk and Juan Jennings. Um, uh, I, know, I think a lot of people have caught wind of Brandon Ayuk. There was a lot of talk about maybe him being traded to the Colts uh, in the off season. I don't think Juan Jennings is really on anybody's board. But I love when Juan Jennings gets in there. I talk about him probably more than anybody else out there. When Juan Jennings is getting the football, I know that offense is running at 100%. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, what's, what's going on. I, I love seeing him out there. This is a game, honestly, that we should win. I don't want to, you know, give any just like straight up like we're going to win this football game because of the fact that, you know, last week I, I said that if, um, you know, Deshaun Watson didn't play in that game, that it was a slam dunk that we were going to win. I don't think there are any slam dunks that are there <laughs> out there uh, in football um, anymore. You never know what's going to happen. You know, a lot of these guys out there, they were really, really good, you know, high school players. They were great college players, and they might not be the best pros, but they still have that inside of them. And just on any day, they could flip that switch and just be the best there is. So um, 
you know, I'm going to take the Niners here. I think they got a better team. Um, but we'll have to see what goes on from there. But uh, peace out, everybody. Go Niners. See what happens on Sunday. Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you here today as we are uh, watching some Monday night football. Uh, McCaffrey just put it in the end zone. Who else? Um, that guy really has his, uh, you know, whole team on his back. 10-7. to 7. Uh, We're going to be going into the half. There is, um, I don't know, about a minute left. So I could be very, very embarrassed when I go inside to post this. That, um, you know, the Vikings did something to, to um, change the, the flow of the game of the score. But, um, you know, we, there was, uh, you know, two... Um, turnovers very very early in the game uh, Vikings threw an interception uh, we had um, McCaffrey fumble a football after that he went and he put some gloves on uh, these teams are hungry and these teams are moving fast uh, when the Vikings want to move the ball they move it they've been running on us they've been passing on us um, you know we got some flaws out there and we're gonna have to you know figure out our game when we go into the uh, the locker room and we're gonna figure out how we're gonna have to play this second half because this team came to play um basically the whole you know uh pre-game uh was about the vikings and uh whether you know this is a real team that uh, is down on their luck right now but they're gonna sack it up for the second half of the season and they're gonna put it together or they get to bust this up and these guys are, some of these guys are going to be, you know, wearing different uniforms and they're going to be making uh, moves in order to, uh, to feature guys to see who's going to stay on this team and who's not. Basically, it's put up or shut up time for them. And I think the, the Vikings have been pretty well outspoken, even though Justin Jefferson's, uh, you know, um, not going to be there for a bit that, you know, that they, they, they want to play. They believe in the team that they built and, you know, that's what they're looking forward to is, um, winning some football games. So, you know, Purdy's looked really, really good. Um, McCaffrey's been running the ball and that one fumble. Um, Ayuk's been touching the ball a lot. Juan Jennings has been all over it. You really haven't noticed, um, that we, we don't have our, our number one receiver, uh, Debo Samuel out there. You know, defense is looking pretty nice. Um, they're just going to have to figure out, you know, uh, how, how to stop them. And uh, we got to get some stops. We're going to be down three. That's not out of this world. There's a lot of football left. There's a lot of football left. I know the Niners aren't really playing from behind that much. But, you know, as a Niner fan the last few years, we've been playing from behind a lot. We got no problem coming from behind. Only three? <laughs> I, I got three. No problem. Uh, rookie kicker, it is what it is. Um, you know, he missed the, the kick early on, but I'll say the truth, even though he missed um, that, that um, was that a game winner? I think it was a game winner in Cleveland. I'll still take that guy kicking for us. I hope he, I hope he uh, kicks one to win the game tonight. Tell you the truth, let's go. Let's go, Moody. Let's everybody give, give a little route, you know. Moody, 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 let's go. Peace out. All right, hand up. I don't know. I'll say that's on me. I came out here and I said I'm going to look like an idiot if uh, they score a touchdown and they scored a touchdown. Um, they did not get the extra point, so we're going to be looking at 16 to 7. Nine points down coming out of the half. Um, I don't even know who that was. I thought for sure that was an interception. I yelled, thank you! And uh, fucking, we didn't get it. <laughs> he ran all the way to the end zone. That... That sucked right there. Um, we're going to have to fix that. <laughs> Damn. Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you here from uh, the depths of my garage. Um, we got the uh, the dryer going over there. If you hear any background noise going on over there. But uh, the Niners weren't able um, to pull off a win tonight against the, uh, the Minnesota Vikings. The Minnesota Vikings uh, will probably, from here, keep their team together and see how far they can go. Um, 49ers are going to have to uh, see what's going on with their team. Um, you know, they're going to have to try to get healthy uh, going into the next week's bye week. Um, rest up, and they got a long haul for the rest of the season to go. Um, five and two. That's not a bad record. I mean, right there, we're, we're, we're over um, the Seahawks, we're over the, uh, the Cardinals, we're over the Rams. Uh, we look to be in, our, in control of our own destiny. 
um, to win the division. Uh, of course, anything can happen in the NFL. Uh, we're just coming off that, that bad loss to the Browns uh, last week. Now we lose this Vikings team. Um, for the people that said that we weren't that good last week, we didn't really come out and uh, with a bang. I mean, you got three um, injured superstars going into the, this week. McCaffrey ends up getting uh, the go, but uh, no Trent Williams holding down that offensive line. Um, we, we had rushing plays. McCaffrey got off, but I mean, we didn't run the football. Like we ran the football all year long. Um, Debo being out. Um, Purdy probably had the most trouble he's had uh, besides for when he hurt his arm against the Eagles. Um, in the NFC Championship game, he, he, he it was tough out there. Um, that was a bad game. I, I honestly, just about all around, we put points on the board, not enough points. And um, I hope this isn't a game that really comes back and, and really bites us. This is a you know, a lot of people believed in us. Uh, we were the seven point favorites in this game. Um, had a chance to win it. Um, I think 80% of the bets that came in on tonight's Monday Night Football game were uh, on the Niners um, to cover. And uh, we let a lot of people down. That sucks. Um, Elijah Mitchell. I don't really know what happened to him. He is non-existent. And I, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe a little bit has to do with the fact that Christian McCaffrey is so good that he's just not getting the number of uh, targets or touches. But um, you got to have a backup. But, man, you just wonder if we had a chance this offseason to move him to somebody. What could, could they have given us a piece or at least given us um, a draft pick that we, we could have turned into a piece because we don't need that guy. <laughs> I mean, this guy, non-existent. And th this loss has nothing to do with Elijah Mitchell. So, I mean, that's just, you know, a couple weeks of just realizing, you know, uh, what's going on out there. Um, but uh, Brock Purdy probably had his worst game as a pro. You know, hey, all quarterbacks have bad weeks. All quarterbacks have bad games. It, it is what it is. We're going to have to dust ourselves. We're going to have to move back on. It's not like the Vikings looked that great. Their offense um, looked like it was. Like it just was, you know, it was, it was what it was. Defense won that game for them. Um, two big interceptions, one fumble recovery. Um I don't think the defense put any points on the board, but uh, it was because of those stops that, that we had to get something going. Um, Moody, um, our, our rookie kicker, has got to get his feels. He's just got to get his feet underneath them. He's got to, you know, find a way to get um, just comfortable, I guess you can say. I don't know what really what it is about rookie kickers. I don't know a whole bunch of them. Other than like Sebastian Janikowski, that rookie kickers really feel comfortable and, and get it done. I don't know if it's. I, I think a lot of guys who kick in college kick in, in bigger stadiums than they, they play in in pro stadiums. So uh, I I don't know. You would think the holders are better. You would think, um, you know, the goalposts are the same. They're the same distance back. Um, you would think that, you know, in the pros, maybe the guys are coming faster at them, like be uh, better special teams. Maybe that's what it is. But um, I've been wanting them to uh, get a younger guy for a long time that could stick around. And um, now I understand why they call the Phil Dawson's, the, the Robbie Goulds, the Akers. I mean, Niners had like the veteran of veterans kicking for them for years. Um, being one of the best players that they got out there on the team. Kittle had a day. Um, Jennings had a day. Um, good, good stuff, but just not enough to be the Vikings. This one hurts. Five and two. We'll build. We'll move on. 
No way this is done. No way this is stopping us from being on a roll. We're still going to win the West. We're, we're, we're still going to be in a great place. Um, and hopefully get a bye going into the playoffs. Get some home field advantage. Just got to win some more football games. Come back. Let's get this done.